Okay, the next exercise is a dexterity exercise between the two hands, and this is simply going one, two, three, four. When you get to the top, you're gonna move up one fret. You need to move up. I can certainly do that with a metronome. Let's say I set a metronome. You see? So I could do that exercise with the metronome again trying to build that up. Okay, so I'm doing one, two, three, four, all the way up. Okay, and then turning around doing four, three, two, one. Now, first question a lot of people have is, well, can I go backwards this way and then forwards this way? You can do whatever you want. It's just, again, understand, don't make 50 exercises when you're only, you're not gonna do any of them. You know, you can do one, four, two, three, or two, four, one, three, and all kinds of mathematical things that you could do, and that's great. But understand when you play scales, generally a scale goes up. <laughs> and it goes back down. So when you're playing, you know, you might play inside and out, but when you're playing faster passages, you know, a lot of times those just move up and down, back and forth like that. So that's why it's really important to get used to doing forward and backward. And yeah, all the other ones are important too, but start with those. Okay, the next thing to learn how to do is another dexterity pattern, but this one is working on three note per string patterns, because what we just did was four note per string doing one, two, three, four. So this one's gonna be a three note per string, and what we're doing is, uh, again, the fret wouldn't make any difference. I'm gonna go up to the 12th fret of the second string. I'm gonna play 12, 13, 15, which means I'm playing first finger, second finger, uh, pinky. And the goal here is I'm playing down, up, down. So I'm alternate picking, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach onto the first string, okay, uh, 12th fret, with an upstroke. So I'm going down, up, down, up. Now, that's the really important part to get of this, is learning how to alternate pick, doing down, up, down, up. Now, again, there are people out there that will say, well, you don't have to do that. You can do what's called economy picking. And economy picking is kind of where you down, up, wherever you feel like it. And again, whatever floats your boat. If that's what works for you, that's great. But don't choose to do something like that because you can't do it another way. Okay, what makes logical sense about alternate picking the way I'm doing it right now is it doesn't matter what string you're on, it doesn't matter what fret you're at, it doesn't matter where you are in a sequence, you can just drop into doing down and ups. And you're never thinking about whether something is a down or an up, you're just playing. Um, so it makes logical sense. So, again, if you're picking a different way then, and it's working for you, then great. If it's not working for you, and again, these are patterns that you want to do to get strong and to get fast. That's what you're looking for. Get Certainly uh, play clean, too. But Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down, up, down, up. So we're attaching onto that one, and then we're going to come back down like this. So what you're trying to do is get used to being able to go down, up, down, up, down, up, and then it starts all over. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now because this pattern has six notes, if I was to use a metronome, I'm probably going to think of it as triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And what's really nice about that is I know every time that clicks, I got to be I gotta be on those notes, okay? So another really great one. So that's a three note per string pattern that you could practice, okay? And you can do those anywhere. Right now I'm doing it at the 12th fret using one, two, and four. Well, I could also do it using one, three, and four. Okay, and if I don't wanna be at the 12th fret, That's entirely up to you. You can go wherever you want and do those exercises. I'm just staying on the top two strings because it's easier for me. 
uh, to visualize. I've done it there all along, but you, know, you can go to any old and do them wherever you want. So anyway, those are your threes. Lastly, you've got your twos. And what I would certainly recommend for your twos is learning your pentatonic scale and playing your pentatonic scale with a metronome again. So What I'll do is I'll take this and I'll just practice, for instance, maybe two strings going like this. Or maybe I'll go. Or maybe backwards. back and forth like that. So that's what I want you to start thinking about is how to get comfortable with being able to play groups of four, three, and we're going to use this pattern for now, and two, which we could just take that primary pentatonic scale and start with that. Okay, now yes, there's other positions and all those sorts of things, but for now, that would be a great group of exercises that you could do on a daily basis. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Listen, if you're ready to take your guitar playing to the next level, then I'd like to invite you to go to guitarzoom.com and sign up for a VIP membership, which gives you first access to my premium lessons each month, which are customized for your specific goals and skill level. Now, it's an awesome community of guitar players that love to play, have fun and support each other's goals, and we'd love to have you join us. So so go to guitarzoom.com and sign up for VIP today.